Given just how many animal videos we put out, I'm guessing you realize how much we do love animals on this channel. There are absolutely tons of videos about them, and you should check them out if you haven't done so. But if you clicked on this video, it's because you want to see 10 cute baby animals that you just need to pet. We decided to go ahead and take up the liberty and went ahead and searched for as many baby animals as we could. And we came up with this list that will absolutely melt your heart. So let's go and explore some different corners of the world to find where these cute little animals live. I suppose we just need to take a break from the ooky, spooky, and altogether ooky kinds of animals and go for these cute animals instead. And just remember to stay tuned for number one. It is by far one of the cutest animals that I've actually seen on these kinds of lists. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Polar Bears Every year around the months of December and January, a new batch of polar bears is welcomed into the Arctic. It is a very exciting time for polar bear families because these little ones usually come in pairs and sometimes they even welcome three of these cute babies at the same time. The mother usually gives birth once every three years, but in some areas, some bears might give birth every two years. Once the babies are delivered, they stay with their moms until the spring, towards the end of March and the month of April. Their most preferred activities are nursing and lots of cuddles from their moms because their fur is not developed enough to help them stand the cold. Another interesting fact is that these cubs are born with their eyes closed, which keeps them quite inactive for their first stage of life. They end up opening them towards the end of their first month. You can expect these cubs to be about 30 centimeters long and weigh up to 680 grams. Usually, a male cub is significantly larger than a female one, so you can use their size as a reference to tell them apart. And now granted, I said you're going to want to pet these animals, but I really wouldn't suggest it because polar bears are... <laughs> ooh, they are extraordinarily territorial. Number 9. Hippos Hippos are massive animals, but have you seen their babies? They're so small and weigh so little compared to the sizes of their adult counterparts. In fact, a baby pygmy hippo, which is native to West Africa, weighs just a little more than some of the big newborn human babies. And still, hippos only spend 8 months inside their moms. That's even less than most humans. And just like all mammals, hippos need their mamas for nursing. But in the case of hippos, they learn to do it underwater. Hippos spend at least 16 hours under the water, so their babies develop a skill that allows them to keep their ears and nostrils closed while they get the food from their mother. But interestingly enough, they don't swim. They just manage to kind of stay afloat. And by the way, in case you didn't know, whether it's a baby or an adult hippo, these animals are not able to swim. They just bounce from the bottom of whatever body of water they're in, and then float around. Mama Hippo is also known to be very protective, especially from the adult male species. It's been observed that adult male hippos sometimes attack the babies for many different reasons. I won't really go into the reasons why, and I'll just leave it at that. Nature is indeed crazy. Number 8. Cheetahs The cheetah is not only the fastest animal on land, but it is also a very intimidating creature. However, their babies are the total opposite. They're just adorable and so small that you're just going to want to hold them and pet them. Far from their mother's sight, of course. Weighing less than a can of soda, baby cheetahs are defenseless and very dependent on their mom. They're born in groups of three and sometimes even five cubs in one go. While the adult version of this animal is popular for their spotted fur, the cubs have a darker ash gray colored fur, which helps them stay safe and camouflage them from any danger out there. And you see they have a sort of mohawk haircut along their fur? That's a mantle, and it helps them to stay hidden from predators. But more important than their camouflage is their protective mom who will stay by their side and keep them on the move in order to stay away from animals that might want to attack them. By the time these babies are five months old, you can expect them to start wrestling against each other and play rough. Mind you, this is only a little preview of what the rest of their lives will look like, so you better enjoy their cuteness while it lasts. Number 7. Orangutan Orangutans are known to be very cuddly and caring. Sure, trying to hold them can be quite scary once they get to a certain size, but still, they will be happy to pose for your picture as long as you don't threaten them. But have you seen their babies? If holding a regular orangutan is already a heartwarming experience, wait until you see the little ones. Their small faces are all wrinkled and their hands and feet are probably the thinnest you've seen, but they will be happy to give you a hug. The little orangutans are so small that they need a lot of help from their mother. They don't even have developed muscles when they're newborns, but that changes as soon as they start climbing trees. They only weigh one or two pounds after birth, but their weight increases at a constant rate, and once they're seven years old, they can weigh up to 25 pounds. That's also the age when they finally become quite independent. Prior to that, they spend their time learning to survive under their mom's supervision. 
In Malay and Indonesian languages, the word orangutan literally means person of the forest. And mind you, that's actually quite fitting of these cute animals, given the fact that their DNA is 97% close to that of humans. Number 6. Penguins. Clumsy and fluffy are two of the characteristics that make the next baby so cute. The Baby Penguins. The fairy penguin, the smallest of them all, comes to the world with only 35 grams of weight, looking almost like those chicks you see at the farms. But there's also another kind of penguin called Emperor, which can weigh 315 grams at birth. And that's one you might remember from the movie Happy Feet. Did that movie make you think baby penguins are adorable? Wait till you see the real life ones. They're honestly way cuter and also far clumsier. Most penguins lay two eggs at a time, while king and emperor kings do just one. Living in such cold weather, baby penguins tend to stick together, providing heat to each other and having a few adult penguins watching over them just to make sure they're safe. Number 5. Tigers. And here's another animal that will scare you once it reaches adulthood, but it will make you want to cuddle and hold it tightly as a baby. I'm talking about the tigers, of course. These babies are born in a secluded and safe place that their mom chooses for them to come into the world. They are born blind, weighing a bit less than a kilo, which makes them very dependent on their mother to learn the ways of this world. As soon as they're born, mom gives her babies a bath with their tongue, and once clean, they are ready for their first meal. But there's also a challenge, since these little ones can't see. They need to find their way to teat for nursing, and sometimes this process can take hours. Mom usually gives birth to up to seven cubs in one go. But once they start eating, mom has to go out and find food for them all, and sometimes the resources are not enough. Mind you, that all changes once the tigers reach the age of a year and a half, which is when they start venturing out and hunt on their own. Number 4. Brown Bears Just like the polar bears, brown bears are also born within the first couple months of the year, which is interesting since this is the time when they're supposed to be hibernating. Compared to other large placental mammals such as elephants and whales, the bears are very small when they're newborns. A cub can weigh about half a kilo, which is only about a four hundredth of the size it will reach in later stages of life. If you've seen bears in the wild, you are aware of how powerful and intimidating they can be. Their babies, however, are far from that. They're small and vulnerable, just like many other baby animals on this list. And just like those other animals, they can't see. Since the babies are born in the midst of hibernation, their moms mostly provide them with very fatty milk, with limited amounts of other significant nutrients. After all, the poor mother doesn't have an immediate way to get more food, so she has to manage her nutrients in a way that benefits both herself and her offspring. It's not likely that you'll encounter a newborn cub in the wild. By the time they're out of their den, they're already a few months old, but man, are they still just adorable. And probably deadly. Number 3. Foxes. Foxes are known to be very solitary and sneaky animals, but one thing is for sure, they're also good parents and they make very cute babies. These cubs are born in litters that go from 1 to 11 little foxes. They remind you of other animals, well that being the dog, of course. And that's because foxes and dogs are related. But anyway, let's not get sidetracked. These cute cubs stay with their mom while their father goes out into the wild to get food for them. The little ones can fully trust the work of their parents as they will do whatever it takes to keep their baby safe. Once in England, one of these pups got stuck in a wire trap. While its parents didn't know how to set their baby free, the mom made sure to bring food every day and keep her cub healthy in such an unfortunate circumstance. While they're the depiction of a cute and united family, the baby foxes grow up really fast and leave their parents as soon as they reach seven months of existence. That's actually pretty fast. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Have you figured out which two animals I have at the top of my list just by looking at this picture? I'm sure you already identified at least one of them. Number 2. Pandas Pandas are giant and cuddly, but have you seen their babies? They're surprisingly very small, and they're barely above 3 ounces, which makes them about the same size as small kittens. While adult pandas have little to none predators in the wild, the little ones are a bit more vulnerable. Snow leopards, eagles, and even the Asian black bear are known to be among the animals that prey on these cute cubs. And you know what's a panda's favorite food, right? That's right, they love bamboo. The pandas start eating the plant after they reach six months of age. Two of the most popular pandas are this pair of twins that were born in the Berlin Zoo back in August of 2019. You can imagine the excitement of zoo visitors when these two were ready for their first day out. These pandas will stay with their parents for four years, which is the time they need to become independent, and they will be relocated to China, which is the place where pandas come from. 
I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Red Pandas What's cuter than a baby panda? A baby red panda, of course. These little ones, like most of the cubs I already mentioned, have their eyes and ears sealed when they're newborns. That lasts until their second or even third week of life. One litter of baby red pandas can come with up to four of them at the same time. They're usually born around the spring and summer seasons. Once the babies start developing more, they start venturing and exploring their surroundings, but they are known for staying close to their mom for their first 90 days of life. They reach maturity in as little as a year and a half, but they stay relatively small throughout their lives. So whether it's a baby or a full-grown adult, a red panda is the kind of animal you still want to cuddle and pet at any time. If you could cuddle any of these animals right now, which one would you pick and why? Have you ever seen one of these cute babies at the zoo or perhaps even in the wild? Let us know in the comments section down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.